All right, I'm going to do a little video on what I find with the Mako 5 8 wave antenna. Some people may say they swear by them, great antennas, uh, talk out there. And the negative, somebody says, people tell you, say, well, can't keep the standing wave right. Well, let me show you what I find. I bought this antenna used. Okay, look at here. The hardware. Man, it's just rusted up. Uh, look at here. See here where it connects to the, uh, the, the mast of the antenna? That little bitty old strip up through there. Not the dirty rings on the outside, but the center. That's all the contact surface has actually been made. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to pop rivet that uh, to the mast. Look at here. You can tell that has got a rust in between it where the hardware was rusted up. Probably not a real good connection. Okay. And you look, see the hardware is all rusted. You know, I'm going to clean it all up. Look at here. Where you adjust the standing wave. You can see it's sandwiched as tight as it will go. But look, you can actually see daylight through it. Uh, there's daylight going through there. Okay, look here, it's loose. Look, that's as tight as it'll go. You can you can slide it back. Look at I slide it. Look at that. There's no way you can keep standing wave set on that. We'll make a brass uh, or copper strap going around when you tighten it up. It's going to be good and tight. I'm going to use all brass hardware, clean it all up, flux it really good before I put it together. And after I put it together, I'm going to come in there and braise all of these. Once I get it set where it needs to go, go back and braise them all in real good. I'm going to take this SO239 out. I'm going to put like a super stud uh, mount like you would on a trucker toolbox that they can handle a lot of watts. And it'll actually have where... Uh, say a, an antenna would screw down inside of it like on a mobile a trucker antenna well I get the uh, bolt that will go down in it instead of the antenna put a heavier wire with an eyelet on it slide it on there and tighten that nut up same thing over here put an eyelet over here and put the strap on there and uh, let's say you slide it get it set where you want snug it up I think good oh just that slid back so easy look at that that's terrible. Okay. And on my tower, this is some modifications I'm going to do when I put my tower up. I'm going to add some stainless steel bolts, but they're going to be turned toward the inside of the uh, tower, not sticking out. I just done that for, just for purposes of, so you know what I'm talking about. And a ground strap. I'm going to ground each section together all the way down to the, to the base like that. So... Some say you don't even need to ground them. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do it just, just because. That's just the way I do it. I'd rather overdo it. That's the tower mod that I'm going to do. And like I said, pop rivet everything to the antenna. Pop rivet it. Put a, put a, a, a Braze it really good right there. Same thing with down here. Put a brass uh, bolt and a nut through the antenna and braze it braise it really good maybe just on the sides just as long as it makes a good contact surface you know they say that Mako 5 8 it's a good talker and uh, good ears so I think with if everybody was to uh, beef it up this is the 1500 watt uh, uh, Mako 5 8 wave they make a 5000 I think uh, with these mods I think uh, I should ha have no problem with these antennas and if uh, you're going to put one up, I would, uh, I'll, I'll do a follow-up. When I get this done, I'll let you look at it when I get it mast up to the, uh, the mast pole going up. And um, I'll let you, let you know. So, until now, round the old Louisville, Kentucky, the turkey slayer, and I just got down.